How would you feel living in a three-bedroom house with 13 strangers? No, this isn't a reality television show. This is an alcohol and drug rehabilitation center in Kemerov, Russia, run by this married couple, Angela and Evgeny. These two new Adventists are dedicating their lives to help rehabilitate drug addicts and alcoholics in Western Siberia. They opened the center a year ago to give people hope and a chance to find stability and a savior. For Angela and Evgeny, the center is something that's very personal. Both of them struggled with addiction before becoming Adventists. I started using drugs when I was 17 years old. I lived in what I considered a relatively ordinary family. My parents drank, had fights, and eventually they got divorced. At first I used drugs just to relieve stress. I always despised drug addicts, thinking that I would never become addicted myself. But with time I realized that drugs were sucking me in, and I was no longer able to control my body and to control the urge. By the time I was 25, I got to the point that I could no longer be sober. One day I saw an invitation to a Seventh-day Adventist evangelistic campaign. From the very first day, I believed the message I heard and was soon baptized. I fell in love with God. I wanted to lead a totally different lifestyle that would be pleasing to God. I wanted to have a husband who was also a former drug addict and who had turned to God and then together we would be strong and can tell people about God and His salvation together. Several years later, the Lord gave me Evgeny. I started using drugs when I was 14 years old. For the next 13 and a half years, I used drugs, trying to find a way out of this desperate situation. I went to various clinics. I hired a doctor who came to my home and administered IVs to clean my blood. However, none of that helped. As soon as the doctor left the house, I would start again. Then I met Angela. She suggested going to a rehab center. I spent two weeks there. After I left the center, I started attending an Adventist church with Angela. As I studied the Bible with her, I discovered some of the many principles taught in the Bible, such as healthful living and the Sabbath. I felt a burden on my heart to start a place for drug addicts like us within the Adventist church that taught these principles as part of the rehab program. The center opened a little over a year and a half ago in an empty house next to the local Adventist church. So far, some 70 people have completed the program. As a result of their time in the center, studying the Bible and learning to pray, 13 people have been baptized. One of these people is Dennis. I feel the Lord brought me here. I came here to check it out and stayed here. And now I've gone through the program. I want to make a covenant with God and be baptized. The center not only serves adults, it also has children living with their parents. One of these parents is Irina, an alcoholic who lived with an abusive husband. One time he beat her so badly that she thought she might die. As a result, Irina ended up in the hospital with two broken legs and a broken arm. She then realized she needed to do something to change her life. I had a very bad lifestyle. I drank and often ignored my daughter, Nastya. After I was discharged from the hospital, I took my daughter and went to live with my mother. A friend told me about this rehab center that had just opened up. He asked if I'd come here, and of course I said yes. I am really happy that the Lord changed my life. The local church has noticed the results of Angela and Evgeny's work. After seeing this ministry and all the people who've come and accepted Christ, I must say the ministry of Angela and Evgeny is a great blessing. Thanks in part to Angela and Evgeny's vision to start this center, Plans are underway to start several more drug and alcohol rehab centers in Western Siberia. Your ongoing support of the weekly mission offerings can help make these plans become a reality. This is just one way that you can help others tell the world about Jesus' love.